So AMD has just released their new Adrenaline Edition 24.1.1 driver update. And with this driver update, um, they've added AMD Fluid Motion Frames, in short, AFMF. And this is a frame generation technology that is applicable to any Direct X11 and 12 game. And it's available for AMD Radeon 700M laptop GPUs but also the RX 6000 and 7000 series for notebook and desktop platforms. Um, now they claim that there's up to 97% average increase in performance across select titles at 1080p and at 1440p even up to 103%. As AFMF may introduce some additional latency to games, uh, it's recommended to be combined with a AMD Radeon Anti-Lag has to be manually enabled for every game, even if it's already enabled globally. Now, in order to use AFMF, you need to play the game in full screen mode with VSync disabled, that's very important. Now, if you've enabled this and you've been wondering why um, you're still shown the same FPS, that's because third-party performance monitoring tools do not yet support this. You can only see the resulting FPS in the AMD overlay. So as you can see, I'm now in the control center of my GPU. And um, yeah, up here, if you select Hyper RX or the custom mode, you can enable AFMF. In enabling AFMF, um, I recommend enabling Radeon Anti-Lag. If you want to, you can so enable Radeon Boost. That's what AMD recommends. Personally, I don't or didn't use this for the test. And here are my test results. So I tested the new AFMF frame generation technology in Fortnite with the RX 7800 XT. Um, in the bottom left corner, you can see my settings. And yeah, the first clips are from a creative game. I think five people played with me. And then the second are from Battle Royale solos. Uh, and as you can see for yourselves, the FPS boost is crazy. So all in all, I'm really impressed by the new AFMF technology. If you have any questions, please comment down below. If you enjoyed or this video was helpful, then please like or subscribe. And then hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye.